In this video, we're going to take a look at how to save Excel files to OneDrive and what settings you need to have in place to make this happen. Now from the Excel start screen here, I'm just going to open up a blank workbook and then I'm going to go to save. And on the save screen here, you can see that OneDrive is not an option for me. And that's because I haven't got it set up properly. So let's have a look at what you need to do to connect OneDrive to make sure you can save files there. The first thing you need to do is go to account and then click on manage settings under account privacy. And then just scroll down until you see turn on all connected experiences and then check the box and then click on OK. Once you've done that, you'll need to restart Excel. So just click on OK and then close Excel and open it back up again. So I've just closed it and opened it to restart it. And then the next thing you need to do is go to Options and Save. And here, check the box that says Show Additional Places for Saving, even if sign-in may be required. And also check the box that says auto save files stored in the cloud by default in Excel. When you've done that, click on OK. And then just for good measure, we'll restart Excel once again. So I've just closed and opened Excel again. And now I'll open up another blank workbook. And this time when I click on save. And then choose location. You can see that I have OneDrive as an option. So I'll just close out of here. And then I'll go into file and save. And now you can see that I've got OneDrive as an option here too. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is how to actually make OneDrive the default location for saving files instead of your PC or laptop. So once again, just go back to options, click on save, and then uncheck this box that says save to computer by default and then click on OK. And once again, I'll just restart Excel. OK, so I've just closed and opened Excel again. And we'll open up another workbook. And we'll click on Save. And this time you can see that OneDrive has come up as the default. So I'll just cancel out of here. And we'll go into File and Save. And we can see that OneDrive has come up as the default location here instead of the location that was on my PC. So let's actually save this file now. So I'll just give it a name and click on save. Okay, and now that I've saved the file, you can see two things have happened. The first thing is that the name of the file is now showing at the top. And the other thing that happened is auto save has been turned on. And that's because we checked the box in the settings before. And we've also saved a copy of the file. So the last thing I'm going to do now is just go to OneDrive. So I'm just on my OneDrive account online and I can see that spreadsheet 16 was saved about a minute ago. Okay, so now you know how to save your Excel files to OneDrive.